Hello and welcome to this Power Query tutorial with me, James from Matador Software and by extension looking into Power BI and how we can use if functions or if statements. So I'll go through a few slides first and then we'll go into the Power Query environment and look at several examples of, of if statements. So the slides we're going to look at if statements in general, because they're a core concept of any programming language, um, and available Power Query mathematical operators that, that could allow us to, to power up our um, data shaping. Within the Power Query environment, we'll look at conditional columns, then if functions and custom columns, combining if and or, and then really merging together the if function with other um, functions. So it'll gradually grow in complexity, I guess. So, like I said, if functions or statements are not exclusive to Power Query, they're a core method of executing outcomes based on logical tests. So it's a simple decision-making statement, and it's used to decide whether a statement or block of statements will be executed or not. If it's true, then the block runs, otherwise not. Um, I saw a simple example years ago from Bill Gates where it said, if raining, take umbrella, else don't. So that's a very simple real world application, but that's really almost the syntax in Power Query. And that's about as complex as the core of it gets. So we might say if sales is equal to, not equal to, greater than or equal to a certain value, then give it this grouping, maybe high sales and so on. And there's lots of different variables and sort of situations that surround this, but, but that is the core of it. There's a lot of mathematical operators we could use, equal to, not equal to, greater than or equal to. You've probably seen these in DAX or M. Also worth noting quotient as well, um, and things like negation. So if we move into Power Query environment, it's just mock data I've created. I feel like this is the best way to sort of showcase these sorts of concepts. So we've got customers, sales, a category, a country and a region essentially, and a customer ID. Now, the situation here is that we're a company that supplies uh, computers and IT equipment to suppliers and hardware stores, etc. So the first way that we can sort of explore if statements um, is to use a conditional column. So you can add a conditional column um, and we can look at some of the benefits here and the limitations. So for example, we could take sales and we could say, if they're greater than or equal to a certain value, we could take a region. Um, we could select whether that contains, again, a certain value. And essentially, we can assign an output. So, for example, we might want to look at assigning a certain level of discount um, or, or a text string that, that states whether we actually apply discount. So maybe in Europe, we have a certain variable that allows us to, to supply discount. Um, Again, we could also add in another parameter where if the sales is greater than or equal to 100,000, then we apply discount and we can begin to look at, look at how this shapes up. So when we do that, the first thing you notice is that in the advanced editor, you have the table.add column function, um, the change type that passed in before, and then we have a new column discount. And then we have the syntax each if the text contains region to Europe, then we apply a discount. And also if it's greater or equal to 100,000, we apply discount else. We mark the appropriate column as no discount, depending on those other columns and whether those conditions that we supplied were met. So we can see in the first example, it's in the USA. Um, it's not in Europe, but it does meet the greater than or equal to 100,000. So sort of in here, we're starting to almost nest if statements. Um, so yeah, but there is drawbacks here. It's simple, but it doesn't give us much flexibility in adding several conditions and where we have to meet two statements and then applying or conditions. So we're going to look into these. Um, it also just ref depends on that helper GUI, which isn't very good. What if we want to apply a discount that's 90% of the current sales, you know, and we're going to look into these things. So the way that we get around this is we can create a custom column. Now, if we want to add a discount as a new column name, 
This is the basic syntax. So we can say, for example, we choose a region column. If region is equal to Oceania, then discount else, no discount. That's how simple the basic syntax is. So we validate the condition and then we say then if that's met, else if it's not. And obviously it can get a bit more nested or complex, but that's the basic elements. And you can see here, um, the only fields that discount has been applied to in this new column is Oceania. So again, we can do this in DAX, but best practice for performance um, for several reasons is always to go as far up the chain or upstream as you can. So it could be SQL within your databases, it could be Power Query, but it's, it's best to sort of um, load it at this stage if possible. So let's look about how we can make custom columns and our if statement that bit more powerful. So if we use if again, we can actually use and where two simultaneous conditions need to be met. Um, so it's, it's, and then we can also combine this with or. But it's important to note in and when we wrap this in the parenthesis you see at the start, these two conditions do need to be met. Otherwise, it won't evaluate. Um, with the sort of output that we state. But we can also say, once we leave those parentheses, or the customer category, let's say is equal to hardware store, and then we give a condition. So we can say then sales multiplied by 0 0.9, 0.9, which would just give us 90%, so it gives us a 10% discount, or else just supply the regular sales value, because we don't want to apply a discount there. So you would not have been able to achieve this within the conditional column GUI, but you can see here when we go through, if we look at Oceania, we need to meet software provider also. So only one of those columns evaluates the true and we get the discount. However, because we have an or statement, um, hardware stores also give us a discount if you compare the sales and the discount column. So using and in parenthesis and or is a great way to add sort of multiple conditions but evaluate different levels at the same time and as i say you really need to be either using the advanced editor or a custom column the difference with the custom column is you might not have to well you don't have to add certain elements like dot add column um, and those functions so now again we can add a custom column discount and there's actually, we can use if not, um, and I'm actually going to use text contains. Now that would be in the GUI, that would be an output in the M code, that function, if you were to use does not contain, but we're doing it from scratch here. So we can say if the text essentially does not contain the region as Europe, then we'll say discount, we'll apply that output in the new column, otherwise no discount. So basically, Anything with Europe, we're saying because there's a not, and we've sort of got a double negative there, um, Europe will have no discount, as we can see, and everything else will have a discount. So that would be quite valuable if we had several things that were, or several different groupings that we're looking to go through, um, and we just want to almost eradicate one from that output, then, then that's a, a time-saving method and it's, it's efficient and we're tackling it upstream so it's more performant. Now the last custom column I want to look at again, I've called it discount, I may rectify that after. Um, we can also, like we did before, there's multiple ways that we can combine different M functions, but maybe this time we want to look at list.contains. Um, so we can say if the list contains essentially certain items, so we need to use our curly braces there and we can supply values in quotation marks. So we can go through that column as it were a list and we could say, you know, for example, UK, USA, France, and maybe we want to evaluate, you know, import costs. Maybe that has an, has, has an effect on our business and on what we do. So we might state an output similar to that if we meet the conditions of these values these country column values being present in a list. So again, we can go through that as normal. We state then that keyword to signify that we're going to now um, enter our expected output 
if those are in the list and then else we could say high cost import but really good to know that we can use the custom column we can power up from that gui we can add some m code and we can also um start to mash different functions together and, and drive insights so I'll, I'll actually rename this to import grouping and you can see everything with uk usa and france is a low cost import and everything else is a, is a high cost input port so i talk about um upstream but sometimes this data may become available through different channels and you may need to use power query um but either way, I hope you've learned a lot here. We've covered general sort of programming principles of, of logical statements, um, gone into some of the operators, looked at some powerful examples, the, the standard if statements, and then into sort of applying discounts um, with different operators and then um, using more than one M function together um, to drive good insights. So as usual, if you'd enjoyed this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.